to you. Okay. Whatever you want to talk about. Um, what kind of abuse was it? Was it just physical abuse? That you? Well, yeah, it was just just physical abuse. I mean, I, um, it was in that magazine, the WF magazine, Beneath the Skin, that Vince Russo did. And um, just get hit on a few points. I remember one time, um, we were real skinny as kids. I mean, skinny, skinny, skinny. And our father didn't allow, we weren't allowed to go in the refrigerator or touch any of the food unless they gave it to us. And it got to the point where one time, I'm the middle kid, but my brother and sisters always looked up to me as being like the big kid. Even my oldest brother and sisters, I was always having to go out and steal food for them. And we ate out of garbage cans, you know, our neighbor's garbage cans and stuff like that. And um, I remember one time, one of the situations was... Um, uh, my father had left. Or, you know, I thought he was gone. And my brother and them were hungry. I mean, we were still hungry, brother. I'm telling you, you thought we were from Ethiopia. Our ribs were short and everything. And um, there was some hot dogs in the refrigerator. So when he left, I went in there and I put two hot dogs on. I was boiling them so I could feed my, my, my brothers and sisters. And he came back home. I didn't hear him coming home. And he came in the door and he was like, who in the cooking these so-and-so hot dogs and nobody said and I said I did and he tied me down to the bed and took the boiling water and poured it on my stomach and it was so bad I mean my skin came off in a circle about that big about and and my skin just started bubbling up and I remember him taking me and putting me in the bathtub full of cold water and when he did my skin would start peeling off and it started floating on top of the water it was so deep the burn was so deep until the blood Spagmentations in your stomach start bleeding. That's how deep the burn was. And I remember he wouldn't take me to the hospital or anything, and I had to sit there and deal with that pain night after night. He would just take Vaseline grease, I remember, and butter and rub it on the burn. Like that was supposed to, you know, stop the pain or whatever. And you had to be tough. He didn't want you to cry or anything like that. I mean, I did because, I mean, it's your stomach. And then another incident was, I remember, um, my sister had a piggy bank, and she thought somebody stole it. She couldn't find it. And so he took all the boys, man, took all the clothes off, and he got a stension cord, a switch, and a belt. I mean, he beat us for hours. It was so bad, I'm desired not. Our actual blood and some of our skin was on the wall. I mean, it worked, and then, then the only beating I ever seen that came close to it, I don't know if you've seen Passion of the Christ, mm -hmm. but that beating that, that, they gave Christ. That's the only beating I ever seen came close when we got. And he had beaten us. I've always been the leader. I was the middle kid, but I was, was the, the one who took the, the blunt of everything. And I remember I told him I did it. I didn't do it. But I just wanted him to stop beating my brothers. And I told him I did it. And, man, he went berserk. He was like, you mean tell me? I remember he hit me. My dad's a big man. He was like 300-something pounds. And he hit me. And I remember going down on the floor, and he took the bump beds and flipped them over on top of me. And he beat me, man, until I passed. And I woke up, there was skin off my head. It hit my penis. Some skin came off my penis. I mean, I was just bloody. I mean, it was so bad. My mom had to come in at night because the stench from the blood stuff was so strong. My mom had to come in at night. I remember her turning me over on the bed. And I just had to peel the sheets off my back from the blood and stuff. I mean, it was just that bad. And that's just, you know, some things we went through. He was a very... The thing about it, he was a very intense, violent man, you know. And I can remember one time, um, I was a recent, and, and, and it started playing its role on, in, in our lives. And I think that was one reason why I was so good in sports, because I always had that extra edge, and which is not a compliment, by the way. Um, I remember one time we were playing softball, and we were in, in um, middle school, elementary school, and this guy, I'll never forget the guy's name, Ray Shanks. He was pitching, and he was mad because we were knocking in a home run. They hadn't got the bat yet, and it was, the recess was almost over. And he said, I'm going to start pitching fast now. And I said, well, just don't hit me with the ball. And it was my turn to bat. And he threw it, and the ball just barely touched me. I mean, barely moved a hair on my arm. But the fact I said, don't do it. And I run to pitch him out with the bat, man. I hit this dude in his head with that baseball bat. I mean, blood went everywhere. And it put the kid in a coma for a little while. And, yeah, I can remember the coach tackling me and holding me down, and then they got me to the principal's office, and they called my dad. I'm like, oh, my God, he's going to kill me now. I mean, I'm going to get a real bad beat now. And he was part of a motorcycle gang called the Road Knights. And you could hear them Harleys coming down the street. A mile before they get there, you hear them thunder. 
there was like nine of them. They came to the school, and they walked in there, and the cops were there, and the cops were so scared of the road nights because they didn't play. They were like the hell angels almost. And um, I remember walking there, and he was like, what an F you do now? And the principal was like, well, he hit a kid and hit a baseball bat, and the kid's in a coma. And my dad looked at me and said, what you do that for? I said, because he hit me with the ball. And my dad said, Oh, hit you with the ball first? Good. Then you should have hit him in the so-and-so head. Let's go. And they took me out, man, and brought me ice cream. And, I mean, like I was the greatest person on earth because I hurt somebody. You know? And that's, that's the kind of dad he was, you know? Yeah.